Hey, what's up, Carship and Rockstars? It's your girl Ashley from RealGeek.com. And on today's very, very, very short podcast, I'm going to talk about the difference between a broker versus dispatcher. I don't know what's in the water lately, but I have gotten so many, I've been getting so many emails and messages on Facebook about car haulers that say, I need a broker and I need a broker to keep me loaded and I need a broker um, so I can build my business or can you put me in contact with brokers that I can make relationships with because I need loads. I get it, you need loads, but you've got it all wrong. So if you're interested in learning more, you wanna wanna keep listening. So <clears throat> what is the difference between a broker and a dispatcher? A broker is the intermediary between the car hauler and the customer. They're the middleman. And in my course, I talk about this a lot, but I like to use football terms because most people um, can relate to football terms. So broker is similar to the agent, right? The same way Drew Rosenhaus was the big time agent for football players is the same way you as a broker would be the intermediary between the player, which in this case is the, um, the customer or the person shipping their car or the lead, whichever word you wanna use, and the team, which is the car hauler. Now, everybody wants to have the greatest player on their team, right? Everybody wants to have that amazing customer on their team. Um, the teams want that customer and brokers want that customer. Most of the times, brokers get that customer. You know why? Because the teams are not in direct contact, generally speaking, with said players, right? So you have to go through the agent. And that's the way the typical auto transport um, industry is ran. Now, there are car haulers out there that are making their own money. So what that means is they are going, they're eliminating the, the agents of the industry and they're going directly after the players, the unrepresented players, the players that don't have an agent in their corner yet. So they're getting in front of them before the agent has a chance to snatch them up. Okay, so that's where the broker carrier customer dynamic lies. If you're a smart car hauler, you want to get those customers or those players yourself. However, when you're just starting out, you're going to have to depend on the agents to do the work for you. So the agents get the client. Now the agent sorts you out, seeks you out and says, hey, you know, you have your car hauling business. I want I have this um, player really, really amazing going on your route. Um, this is how much we're asking for. Um, can you do it? Will you sign this person? And then you as a car hauler says, yes, I'll take that load. I'll sign that player. Okay, so um, hope that's kind of clear um, and not messing up the whole idea of it even more by using, you know, um, the football scenario. Now, when you're just starting out, like I said, obviously you're going to want to depend solely on the agent to do the work for you. All right. Now, what's the difference between a broker and a dispatcher? A dispatcher works on behalf of the carrier. So in the example, how I told you about, let's use football analogies, the, bro the agent or the broker is working for the customer. They don't care about what you want. Their best interest lies in, they, their, their interest lies in doing what's best for their player or the customer or the person shipping their car not you as the carrier. Whereas on the other hand, when you hire a dispatcher, the dispatcher would be equivalent to your general manager, right? Your dispatcher is going to um, look at the players, they're gonna scout the players, they're gonna, um, I mean, they hire, they have scouts, obviously, but you know, in football, let's just use general manager because it's much better. So they're gonna be the ones that say, yeah, this is the guy we wanna get, this is what we need to do, um, and then they make it happen for you, right? So in, in your case, a dispatcher is going to find you the loads. They're going to they're gonna talk to the agents or the brokers for you um, and make sure that they plan your loads, everything that you need, so that way you, as a car hauler, can do your job. Um, there are great dispatchers and there are poor dispatchers. Um, you have to find one that works in your that works for you that you gel with and that you trust because this is the person that's going to like I said they have to negotiate prices for you so you're going to want them to make sure that they're doing everything in your best interest they're working hard for you they, they're booking the loads that you um that you would want to haul they're making sure that you're staying loaded things like that so and the price you pay it varies some dispatchers charge a percentage per load and other dispatchers charge a flat fee um you just got to find a dispatcher like I said that works for you so that is the difference um, between a broker and a dispatcher. The broker works for the customer. The dispatcher works for the carrier. 
okay? So when you guys say to me, hey, Ashley, I need a broker to keep me loaded. Well, you need a dispatcher. Yes, they're going to talk to the brokers and the brokers are going to give them the loads. But what you guys need to understand is that brokers have various clients in various places. And I've talked about this in numerous videos before, but I keep on getting people that are asking the same exact questions over and over again. So I felt like it was time for me to put out a new video that reiterates this point, which is that if like for instance, when I was a broker, I might have a client going from New Jersey to California. And then I have another client that same day that's trying to move their car from Florida to Michigan. And another client from Chicago to Idaho. And another client from Montana to Alabama. You're gonna have clients as a broker all over the place. So as a car hauler, you are usually on one route, maybe two, three routes where you go consistently, but you have to return back to where you originated from. So yes, it makes sense to make relationships with brokers but brokers are not going to be the ones to keep you loaded. You get your loads from brokers when you're using a load board and dispatch. If you're using a dispatcher, your dispatcher will find, will get your loads from brokers. But the chances are, and you're not gonna have that same broker um, repeatedly. You're, that same broker is not gonna be the one that's keeping you loaded unless, unless, that broker happens to do their marketing that, that caters to that specific um, location. So let me give you an example. Back when I was a car hauler and I had my car hauling business, I got a lot of loads from Ready Auto Transport. Back then, Ready Auto Transport was solely a brokerage, but they did a lot of loads from Florida to Texas. So a lot of my loads when I was doing that specific route was coming from Ready Auto Transport because they were doing a lot of auction loads. And so I was hauling cars from Manaheim Auction in Orlando straight out to Texas Auction and vice versa. And they paid amazing. So a lot of times I would intentionally look for loads specifically from Ready Auto Transport because their loads was paying me $800 a car, $750 a car when everybody else was trying to pay like $550, $600 and if you're lucky $650. So they were paying a good price. They were always they were always really good at pricing their loads. So I would intentionally, like I said, get up extra early every morning and look for loads from them. And I talk a lot about this in Haul and Hustle, my car hauling uh, business course, because a lot of you guys don't know how to run a car hauling business, which is not your fault. So if you are interested in that, I will leave the link below in the description um, where you can go and learn how to run your car hauling business. I've helped guys go from one car, one, um, one truck, three car trailer to having three, four, five trucks. So I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. So if you really want to learn how to run a car hauling business, I'm not going to teach you how to load cars. I'm not going to teach you any of that stuff. What I'm going to teach you is how to grow a business because like I said, um, it's sad, but a lot of truck drivers, that's where they fall short. They do one thing and do it great and that's haul cars. So um, you can go to shipmorecars.com forward slash haul and hustle to check that out. Again, I'll leave the link below. But as I said, relationships are always important. I, I believe that relationships are the foundation to any successful business. So, so don't ignore that fact. But I want you to reframe your thinking. You don't need a broker to keep you loaded. You need a dispatcher if you're looking for somebody to do the work for you. Um, and if not, which I like I said, I teach you how to look for your own loads in Hall & Hustle. I tell you exactly what to do, um, what time you should be looking for loads, the best time to look for loads, um, negotiating with brokers for more money. All of that stuff is covered in there. So I hope uh, it went a little bit longer than I expected, but I hope this podcast is hitting home for you guys because, as I said, I hear it a lot. You don't need brokers. You need a dispatcher or you just need to know how to pick your loads and you need to make relationships regardless. If you like this podcast, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos and podcasts just like this one. I'm Ashley from ReloGeek.com. Now get out there and make moves happen. I will talk to you in the next podcast.